So I know what you're thinking. A pinball game mixed with an RPG? That sounds silly. And you're somewhat right, it is kind of silly. But I like silly games, so that's why we're taking a look here at Rollers of the Realm from Phantom Compass and published by Atlas Games. As I said, this is pinball mixed with an RPG. So we're just going to dive in here where I left off on my last game and show you what it is. No. An ancient warning of what lies beyond. We should collect the berries and leave. Collect all the berries, berries before leaving the area. So as you can see, you're set up with fairly basic pinball controls. But you also have different character types. Your different character types break down to being different uh, ball styles, ball sizes, special abilities. And for the most part, it plays just like a pinball game. Alright, I lost one. Now she is unavailable, as you can see. I'm going to launch my knight to take care of these bad dudes. The knight, as you can see, is a bigger ball. Rolls awfully a bit slower. Now I'm screwed because now I'm down to just my healer. So, I have to use my healer to raise some mana to be able to revive a character. This game board is hard, so that sucks. Uh, let's go back to an earlier one. If you go back to the realm here, you'll see a map that shows you all the different areas you can do. This game is fairly challenging for a pinball game because it's got some weird, uh, a lot of weird setup for you. So, we're going to start here at the main square. This is our original board where you start out with. These can switch characters with your left mouse or controller pad. They won't know what hit, them. hit A for your plunger. Triggers for flippers, and away you go. Excuse me. So, every time I hit like a physical object, I'm gaining mana for different spells. Him, boy. Rogue has her dog oh. is her extra ability, so you get a multi-ball. Kind of nice. I lost my doggy. As you can see there, if you look at my flippers, those guys are shooting at me and it's doing damage to my flippers, physical damage. So that could be a problem. Luckily I have a cleric that'll help out. We'll go back to the knight here though to try and take out these bad guys. Because he does the most damage, obviously. Oh, I lost him, so we're going to launch our healer. We're going to heal our flippers. And try and revive our knight. So, as you can see, if you look at my flippers now, just from her bouncing around, picking up some mana, she's already healed. My flippers. So, what I can do now, as you see, if you look over to the side, my knight says revive, so... If I trap the ball, move the left stick, I can choose to revive my knight, and he's back. So that's pretty handy as far as pinball goes, too. You can bring your balls back. I like to be able to bring my balls back. Now, as far as physics go for Rollers of the Realm, it's a pretty solid little uh, pinball game. It's no uh, Pinball Arcade or Pinball FX2, of course, but it's decent. You're not going to have... If I was a pretty big uh, Pinball FX2 junkie. Pretty, pretty big into the high score game and comparing against friends list, stuff like that. So this one, you do have scoring, obviously, but it's not quite the same uh, draw as those games. We're going to go back to Rogue here. Try her out for a bit. So essentially what I'm doing here 
going back to these old ones is a gr grinding. I'm grinding for gold, more or less. Yoink. And I will show you why in a minute. Seriously? Well, that sucks, but... Give me strength. So that's embarrassing. I'm not doing as good as I have in the past, but that's okay. We're going to keep going. Now, if you go down here, you come back to your main screen, you go to the port, you'll see that we are set up some different options here. We, these are our characters that we have in our party. These are extra characters we can hire for our party. We don't have enough gold, obviously, for them yet, because we haven't played too far into this game. But we can go in here to our characters and shop for items. So as you can see, we got different items. Gives you different bonuses. Light Cloak gives you a plus 0.5 to agility, a plus 0.5 to rear attack multiplier. Uh, you can buy rings. Plus 10 to max dog special damage, plus 10 to min dog special damage, minus 50 to mana cost for call dog special. All of these items is how you're going to get your bonuses for your different characters. Each character has their own types of items they can gather from. It gives them different bonuses. The navigation isn't the easiest. It's a little finicky. That's stuff I already have. It's got uh, my bonuses on me. So, and I haven't picked up any more party members yet, but we would get there. So, that's pretty slick. Uh, it's pretty exciting, and the RPG aspect of it's pretty cool. Um, makes it fun. Gives you something else to work towards playing your pinballs. And as you get into this, you'll start to notice that the main point of this game, of what this, the, what they've done in Rulers of the Realm, is packed in some story, and they've stripped out the generic scoring of pinball. You're hitting your bumpers and stuff like that, and stripped out the priority of those, and brought it down to just the mission aspect of your major pinball games played a lot of pinball you know that your high score modes to get your highest scores you have to do the missions that are built into the board find different ways to unlock wizard mode stuff like that and this is basically boiled down to that essence directly So right now I was just working towards being able to bring Rogue back. And you're slow witted too. Can't hurt what you can't hit. She's sassy as you can hear. She has her special abilities if she hits somebody from behind, she pickpockets them. So you're getting extra gold when she hits a player from behind. So that's kinda handy. When you're wanting to beef up your stuff in the shop. And we lost her again. Let's take these dudes out. Well, now we're not doing so good. This is uh, the first level of Rollers of the Realm seemed fairly simple when playing through it. Granted, it was kind of a tutorial setup. They're showing you how to cast spells, revive your characters, things like that. Um, so you expect that to be a little simpler. The difficulty has ramped up uh, significantly in this second level become a lot harder as you you've already seen me fail on this once it's a bit of a struggle again so they have some weird things that you can control the direction 
on some of your balls here by pushing your stick to the left or right. That's a little weird. I'm still gonna get rid of that archer. I gotta figure out how to get him up there. Almost had it. Because they do rely a lot too on you have to hold your flippers open to open up passageways sometimes, and that can throw you off. Because I'm not as used to that in a regular table. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, I'm just not prepared for it. So let's see if we can get into some aim shots here. We're going to open that door. No, almost. Almost. Well, there we lost it, so. But that's it. That's Rollers of the Realm. Uh, you can get this fairly cheap. It just came out this week. It's a good time. Uh, as you can see, I don't get to keep any of my experience and my gold, so that sucks. That hurts, but that has it. That gives you something to work towards, so. That was a quick look of Rollers of the Realm from Phantom Compass and Atlas Games. Pretty fun. A little Canadian game, uh, if that matters to you. Uh, check it out. Good times. It's on Steam. Until next time, I'm Casey. This has been Old Enough to Know Better. I hope you enjoyed this quick look. Be sure to hit subscribe on the Bloody Good Horror channel. Um, likes and comments always welcome. Until next time, bye bye